Welcome to Old School Gamers. Today we're going to talk about how to upgrade your XRK tank stick from that old keyboard input only mode to the new zero lag try mode. Let's check it out. You know what to do. Like and subscribe guys. Like and subscribe. So why do this upgrade anyway? Well, if you're running anything other than main, you've noticed that the XRK joystick support is not very good. I mean, most systems support X input, direct input, as a new standard from the older keyboard input, which the XRK joysticks are set up for. So I picked mine up for about 24 bucks and installed it in about 10 minutes. No kidding. So this is easy, real easy. And the good thing is you can upgrade this and still be able to use the keyboard mode. I mean, that's why they call it try mode. You get direct input, X input, or keyboard mode. You switch to whichever one you want. So let's get started. And just a side note, not only did I replace the board itself, but I also replaced the cables. Not necessary, but something that you can also do when you order the kit. Pretty cool. All right, first you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. You got eight screws on the bottom of the tank stick. And one of the things I found out that was kind of cool and easy is if you flip the tank stick upside down and use the box, those cardboard inserts on the side end up holding up the tank stick and then your joysticks just stick down in the middle and there's no weight on them. So it works out, you know, so that you don't have to worry about crushing your joystick. Anyway, hope that tip helps. All right, go ahead and pull off that bottom. Okay, once you get that off, you're gonna see your current circuit board up in the top left corner and you'll see both the outside cables and the switch, you know, that selects you between the keyboard input and the programmable modes and all that, you know, in the top left corner as well. So there's four screws, one in each of the corners that holds this down. And what you gotta do is just loosen those up and you'll be able to pull it right out. Just make sure you don't bend or pull too hard on any of your cables, you know, that way you don't have any problems later. All right, so there's your keyboard input circuit board up on the top left. It's held down by four screws, one in each corner. So all you gotta do is take your screwdriver. I like to do everything by hand. If you use an electric, be careful. Don't strip it, don't go too fast. So we're gonna take out these four screws and then the DB9 connector that's attached to the black cord right there that's going through the hole. Uh, that one also has a PS2 connector. We're gonna disconnect that from the circuit board because it's really, really tight after you get done with the four screws. Just be very patient during this time it can be a little bit frustrating. It's a very tight area. Um, and also near the end, you'll see me replace that cable. You don't have to. I actually just wanted to replace mine because I wanted the new one uh, to be so, you know, something nice and fresh and brand new. The other one was really kinked and old. So, you know, just wear and tear. Preventive maintenance. Just a quick note, if you do replace the cable, this plastic piece right here, you have to push it from the inside out. It's a lot easier. But when you reuse it on the new cable, it's gonna be really tight. So when you push it back in, just be gentle, but firm, get it in there. So there's a couple ways you can actually do this. You can transfer each plug one at a time and line it up with a new circuit board because they actually line up really nice. Each plug is in the same position for the same functionality. But the other way you can do it is pre-label them with like a sticky or, you know, some kind of tape or something like that. Unplug them all, then, you know, plug them in one at a time to the new one. I think that way is actually easier looking back on it. I tried to put them, you know, next to each other and moved them over one at a time. But I had so many zip ties and it was just really tight and hard to get them over one at a time. So pick which one you'd like to do. I did it this way. Whichever way is easier for you, though. Just be careful. And at the very end, what I'm doing is I'm pushing on each end of the plug to make sure that it's secured and that it's flush and pushed all the way in. All right, so now you can plug right into a Pi, an Nvidia Shield, and of course, the Mister. It'll just be uh, a regular USB joystick and you can use direct input 
or X and put just fine. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I'm still testing a lot of the cores uh, with the Mister uh, and with the Pi to see what the uh, the advantages are now. But of course, being able to just plug and play without installing drivers and getting all these extra supports with VJoy and stuff like that, even with Street Fighter V on the PC, this is just too easy and too much fun. Anyway. Thanks for joining me guys and I will catch you on the next one.